all right friends so what we are going to cover today is the overall introduction and then the email marketing uh, in between or in the end I'll share this link this is the link I'll share it on the chat I'm also sharing it right now so you can just keep it with you uh, for the feedback of the session uh, for all who have already paid for the session uh, or even non paid this is the link where you can go and check out the videos for all who has paid it uh, will have the access to all the videos whereas who have not yet paid and right now running on the demo sessions uh, will have a limited access to the videos all right uh, this is the number you can contact for any administration related details on the course related i'm anyways there all the time so you can just contact me i guess you all have my number right my number and contact details as the admin shared it with you all right if in case not this is my number no i'm nikhil grover i'm a trainer nick is different so you probably will be getting confused with that and this is my email address i'm just sharing it with you so for any doubts and all that you can just contact me on this all right now digital marketing is friends is, is a byproduct of marketing so whatever concepts of marketing applies it it automatically applies to digital marketing as well uh, you can divide digital marketing in two two spheres uh, this is how i always say a is how to run the tools when you use digital marketing which is which in in one way is on only 20 30% of the job the other is the 60 70% of all 70 80% of the job which is what to apply when and this can only come with the practice this can only come with understanding your brand and understanding what objective you want so it comes with the experience it comes with more and more you're going to use digital marketing tools you you can dry run or you can practically run like with few of you who has the opportunity of running into their business or into their job and take the particular practical examples assignments and then function function upon that one by one what you are learning just do that so this is how uh, it, it can be divided so once you the learning from which from this batch is is that you learn the tools as or uh, at the same time you also learn the fundamentals of how to use it and when to use it take practical examples go about it go about that and then run it out and this is how we are going to do it so i'll i'm i'll try my level best to take the practical examples and make you make your wisdom increase on that so for digital marketing as as a by product i i want to say that the the principle of principles of marketing which applies is also applying over here like for example the concept of digital marketing or marketing doesn't start with promotion or this is the myth or this is the basic conception which we have which is a wrong conception it starts with the product it starts with what what your base product is how how you are zeroed down to whatever brand you want to promote you may have created it like we have one member who has created that uh yes uh abhinandan everybody can please close their video feeds yeah now so it starts with the product and it doesn't starts with the promotion promotion is a part of it so in in basic division you can divide it into what product you are choosing or what product you have filtered it down as a brand and you want to promote it uh i'm just stopping in between for to reply this uh, abhinandan you can just hear me that's more than enough uh, there is no need of of sharing the video feed with each other if in case you have any question in between or you want to ask anything you can just 
prompt yeah that's good everybody can hear each other that's that's pretty fine right all right so this is uh, so it starts with the product it goes to the pricing strategies it goes to the promotion part of it which is more or less understood as the only module of digital marketing which is or in marketing which is not and it also goes to to the specific location where you want to have uh, your product it can be your company representation it can be an e-commerce site representation it can be a basic module which you have taken for promotion like for example if if i want to do a facebook promotion for for let's say a new category which is added into the e-commerce site so what location where my where i think my target is sitting let's say i, I really want to target right now only the up up market of India. I only want to target Delhi, Bombay, Kolkata, Chennai, Bangalore, and Chandigarh. This is my only market. So if I to choose location towards that, that also becomes a part of your strategy of doing it out on the promotions part. So for that, your Facebook promotion becomes your product for a while, and you want to just promote it or whatever you have filtered it down. So this is something which I want to state in the starting of the digital marketing sessions which is do not only try to learn or only try to grasp that how i need to put a facebook ad is more than enough no if if i have a particular brand let's say i'm promoting sunglasses when and how i should promote it where i should promote it what i should carry it in the creative or not do we ever understand uh, we all understand what is creative and media in marketing language anybody who doesn't please prompt me yes i'll explain that for anybody uh, who understand it no so i'm explaining it uh, just yeah so i'll explain look onto this slide it's a Spider-Man in a body of a human, right? Now take it as a metaphor and try and understand what is media and creative. So whatever ad you see, whatever advertisement you see, let's say you have uh, seen an advertisement in a print or you have seen an advertisement in a TV or you are surfing down your YouTube commercial, YouTube video of your interest and there is an ad which has come in between. So that ad which has come will in in marketing language will have two dimensions to it. It will have a creative, creative as in the message which has been shown. And it will have a media as a platform, as a host where it has been shown. So if you're looking onto the ad in YouTube, then YouTube becomes a media. If you're looking into the ad in the print in a newspaper or in a magazine, that that becomes a media, the newspaper or that magazine which you're surfing it on. If you're watching an IPL match and you got to see an ad in between, now that TV and IPL match become a media, that channel becomes a media, that radio becomes a media, that frequency becomes a media, like you're having 104.8 or whatever you're listening at that point of time. And the message which you listen, the creative which you listen, the star which you see in the ad, the models which you see in the ad, the costumes which you see in the ad, the text or copy which comes in between that all becomes a part of creative so there is creative and there is media right so the spider man over here is creative the media it has picked to come up is its human being right so have you understood what is creative and what is media everybody preeti ravi shubham yeah nice so in marketing aspect, uh, I, I also request you one thing. Try to use all the lingos in, into day-to-day -day conversations in your business. Right? Try to use that. So whenever you are going to talk about creative, be critical about whatever ads you're going to see from today onwards. Be critical of online ads what you see in, uh, in that. And try to use the words like creative, media, and all, all the words which you're going to learn in between. Right? So do that. Anyways, I'm coming back to the topic. So 
that's pretty much uh, the various horizons I can take in digital marketing. Now, what is digital marketing? In in other words, the other lingo which we use for it is, I'm sorry, is online marketing. So there is one online marketing, there's one offline marketing. What is online marketing in in one way? The online marketing is yes, wherever there is a digital footprint and you're trying to promote it, yes, internet marketing. So that becomes an online thing. And then there is an offline marketing, which which includes a BTL activity, which may include an outdoor activity, which includes radio, which includes TV print. Now that is categorized as offline marketing. Uh, okay, this is something which is not in the slide and I want to share it with you. This will be a great learning for you guys, uh, especially for the businessmen over here. Once you derived a marketing budget, how, how it practically happens is that you derive a marketing budget in the starting and you keep a marketing budget so that you can achieve an X amount of sales revenue out of which Y will be your profit. So this is how it comes. So digital marketing, whenever is kept, is a byproduct of marketing. So as a brand, name me any brand. I'll give it. I'll take you an example. Name me any any brand. Just prompt any brand name, B two C, but B two C brand which is there, Nike. Now Nike, once it, let's say a new year is coming and there is a marketing team out of the 10 member marketing i'm just taking hypothetical example none of the figures will be right it will just be a hypothetical example so their indian operations of uh, nike india will have let's say 10 people in their marketing team out of which two are responsible for digital marketing so they have 10 people in digital marketing there will be a marketing head cmo over here so cmo will be asked from the board of directors or from the ceo uh, at that point of time that the new year is coming and this is what is your sales budget or what is your marketing budget and what is your digital marketing budget it has been asked with two questions so they're asking what is offline budget what is online budget and what is the total budget so how it how he's going to do is he's going to ask first in between sir what is our sales objective we are keeping so he'll ask the ceo ki hum sales kitna karenge? and he says 100 rupee ka hum total sale karenge. i'm just taking hypothetical example over there so we'll say, we will do 100 rupees and now we are in 90 rupees. So next year we have 100 to do 90 rupees. So we will do 90 rupees and we will do 10 rupees and we will do 90 rupees and we will do 90 rupees. So as a marketer, my responsibility is to create an aura so that the sales can happen. So even including digital marketing offline and online, my responsibility is that I create an aura, I create, I create a buzz, I create something a stimuli where the people get prompted get to the store like it and buy it so that is my responsibility as marketer the end transaction is not my responsibility so in order to do that i'll be needing six seven rupees sir that is what i need so what he has done is in order to get 100 rupee sale he is asking for six seven rupees of the total budget and he got that out of that six seven rupees but he has got then he'll divide ki main yaar tv pe kitna rupaye kharch karunga usme se digital marketing which is online marketing us pe kitna kharcha karunga aur apni team ko dunga to wo do members jo digital marketing ke the will get let's say 1 rupee or 1 and a half rupee out of it and that will be their budget once they get that 1 and 1 and a half rupee they have to schedule the whole year and say ki abhi usme se main kitna aage kharch karunga to towards let's say email promotions or towards uh, search engine marketing or seo and all that these words may sound a little abstract to all of you but you will understand at the end of the whole course what does it mean and in fact abhi bhi aap samaj in next half an hour what does these words basically means so this is how they'll divide it now generally what was happening 10 years back in indian companies I'm, I'm talking a journal company every company will have its own way of dividing budgets and pushing in uh, promotions and marketing but how is it happening around 2005 6 7 8 around that time the average spend average budget which indian established companies like brands were getting is around six to eight percent of the sales revenue so jitna sales was six percent over digital uh, marketing but digital market uh, sorry marketing jo divide hota tha, was divided into the bracket of 
around 30-35% on print, 30-35% on TV commercials, around 10% on BTL and out of home. Out of home is basically what we are bus shelters on the road. And when we go to the mall, there is an activity in the mall, or there is an activity in society, that comes as a part of BTL, below the line. And remaining 5-6-8% of the digital marketing uh, of the marketing budget i'm saying not the revenue but the marketing budget wo 6 rupees mein se wo 1 6 ya usse bhi kam 1 7 1 8 or even sometimes lesser than 1 10 to 10 rupees se bhi kam milte the 100 rupees jo unko uh, sorry 10 unko 6 rupees mile hain uske 1 10 se bhi kam milta tha so even 60 paisa or less than that but eventually when the new startups have started coming when even the established com- companies have realized uh, all right i'm just just hold on i'm replying to john who has asked a question i'm just stopping in between for a while Sorry, I'm back again. Now, this is how. Uh, then, from 2010 onwards, once the online brands have started taking up, once the the brands, the companies, the businesses which are more, you know, digital centric, they have started coming up. Once the the normal penetration in in terms of audience who have registered themselves into the social media or into the digital space in one way or the other that started coming up digital marketing ka budgets bhi jo hai wo badne lag gaya in established companies it has reached now to a certain level of 20, around 15-18% to 25-30% uh, and it is cutting out the space of uh, cutting out the share of TV and print and for new companies for bootstrapped companies for new startups uh, it it somehow starts with 80 100 percent it, it starts with 100 percent right for a new company it becomes relatively easy to or in not inexpensive but low budgeted to start uh, a campaign in online compared to uh, this offline costings right so All right. Anyways, we'll just basically touch about what kind of online products you have. Uh, are, are we on understanding everybody understanding it till here? Any doubt, Mukesh, Preeti, Sangeeta, Ashalata, any doubt? All right. Uh, so we have in, in basic divisions of uh, online product i have said there there will be four different part of digital marketing one is what product you are offering if in case it's your online product what your uh, pricing strategy is what your promotion strategy is and what how you're going to place it to different uh, verticals so if it, we are talking about an online product right now adjust a bit so that you understand and your vision and wisdom increases about digital marketing there are few uh, sites which which can be categorized into a content based sites like for example wikipedia these are content based or you open up your own blog and you want to just write about any topic or any topic which comes into your mind you just want to throw it onto the internet so it becomes content based uh but there there are few products which are in between of that which are in between of content based and network based like for example twitter Twitter is a micro blogging site at the end of the day. It was started on the concept that you, in, in, in a limitation of 140 characters, you can just say whatever you want to say. So it, but it has a networking scenario into it. That there'll be followers, there'll be following uh, uh, bracket into it, and there'll be followers for you. 
and it connects to each other and it becomes a networking site but it has the origin of content marketing so it is not necessary to divide into any con any specific category as a digital marketer that you should understand what kind of site it is is it a content based or retail based or network based a basic understanding of it will help uh, right a retail base is where the transaction can happen e-commerce site uh, we already have an e-commerce site uh, member with us uh, so that is a retail base where the transaction can happen for a digital marketer to understand this will help in understanding of one thing once you start taking assignment and campaigns for your brand you understand what can be the end objective and you also understand where I can find my target and up to what potential I can spend. So for retail, you'll probably get a higher, you know, a higher budget because with every rupee spend, you'll, you can just calculate of how much revenue I'm earning. So the, it, it gives you a little liberty and this is how they, they try to prompt it out. Uh, anyways, and in Framing a retail based product, you also have to work it out on different things. Uh, it is very easy to put up a content based website. It is not very difficult. Uh, but to put up a retail based website, it, it's little difficult. Uh, it needs to have a payment gateway module with you. It needs to have a logistic API integration with you. Right. So you have to run your business on online as well as offline aspect. Order to aage, like in order up to pass time to deliver bhi to hona chahiye. Aur uske liye bhi aap IT ka backbone use karte hain, kahi bar offline ka backbone use karte hain. So for a retail based thing, it the horizon becomes a little a little width wise. Wo thoda sa horizontally expand karta hai. Content based is little bit easier and then. All right, Preeti is asking what is API integration. API integration is, uh, I'll take a practical example. Let's say we have an e-commerce site, right? And on that e-commerce site, I'm selling apparels and I'm, sell I'm selling all, fa all fashion products. And uh, I want to service all over India. Abhi all over India ke liye mujhe agar, let's say Bangalore, from where are you, uh, Preeti, from? From which part of the country you are? Delhi. Let's say I'm I'm a Mumbai based company or Delhi se mere paas order aaya. Preeti ne mujhe order kar diya. Ab main Delhi mein bhi logistic team ko kaise karunga? To I've been approached by let's say Delivery. This is one of the logistic company or let's say Blue Dart or FedEx. Aur hamari aapas mein baat ho gayi. Yes, I'm giving the example. Hamari aapas mein baat ho gayi ki aap udhar deliver kar denge. Now for FedEx, there will be 100 of customers. For me, there will be 100 of customers dropping in each day or maybe site pe order aare honge. So, I will tell them how to tell them. So, what they do is, when they have two software apas mein integrate kar lete hai, that is called API integration. So, they have a module ka, which they have a sales module ka access. So, if they have a sale, they will be prompted to tell them what the order is, they will prompt to tell them what they are going to invoice ke receipt wo apne end pe nikal sakte hain packing karke bech sakte hain so i can give an one api integration to the packing department i can give one integration to the logistic department i can give one integration to the stock management jo kar raha hai mere e-commerce site ke liye that way i can give api integration so whenever the one transaction is happening ek website se dusri website jo aapas mein baat kar leti hai back end pe that is called api integration this is the layman terms for a definition right and if you ask a developer they will give you a very technical defin definition but this is the basic understanding of API integration yeah understood pretty understood everybody else who had the doubt have understood yeah no it's okay the process of uh, yes I'm answering uh, Abhinandan right now it is not a software that yeah it is basically to link two softwares so what you do is you take a certain code and integrate it with you so the linking process is called the api integration integration is a process right all right i'm just keeping all this so all right 
so i'll just um, in one in in one one line i'll try to explain the e-commerce fundamental sites uh, e-commerce can be of three base uh, own sell marketplace and there are few aggregators which has come in between so uh, what is own sell own sell is when uh, asharata can correct me where i'm wrong or can share her inputs over here own sell is when you have your own inventory jab aapne khareedi hai inventory aur aap usko bech rahe hain so you have your own inventory like for example if puma is selling shoes on puma online shopping site and it is getting only through puma so wo unhi ki inventory hai aur wo khud hi apne ek channel se bech rahe hain so it is their own sell kind of thing right a marketplace is like flipkart or snapdeal what they're doing is there are different sellers and different buyers which come onto the site सो so, वो सेलर नहीं है अल्टीमेटली सेलर कोई और है जिसने स्टॉक रखा हुआ है उसके बिहाफ पे स्नैपडील या फ्लिपकार्ट सर्विस देता है सो दे क्रिएटिंग अ मार्केट प्लेस सेइंग दिस इज दी सेलर यू कम एज अ बायर यू चेक आउट द रिव्यू ऑफ द सेलर यू चेक आउट द डिटेल्स ऑफ द सेलर ही इज द अल्टीमेट गी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रोडक्ट डिलीवरी वी आर फ्रॉम आर साइड जस्ट गिविंग यू दिस सर्विस सो दैट बिकम्स अ मार्केट प्लेस सो एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटर इट becomes very important for you to understand the pros and cons of a marketplace and if your product is available on a marketplace only and let's say few marketplaces aap ek shoes banate ho aur aapne snap deal pe bhi bech rahe hain aap let's say uh, you are also selling on flipkart you are also selling on other marketplaces so your focus is towards selling those shoes as more as possible When you are a marketplace, तब digital marketing में आपके पास एक और additional responsibility आ जाती है If you are a let's say snap deals manager for shoe category, और आपके पास digital marketing को promote करना only shoe category. Now, in addition to the brand which you will be selling, you also have a collective responsibility कि हर एक seller को एक अच्छी sale मिलती रहे uh, Am I able to pass it on uh, easily? मैं आपको समझा पा रहा हूँ वट एम थिंग लेट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैं डिजिटल मार्केटर कैटेगरी मैनेजर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सेलिंग शूज इन स्नैप डील और शूज तो पूमा के जो है वो दस सेलर्स बेच रहे हैं रवि एन कंपनी भी बेच रही है प्रीति एन कंपनी भी बेच रही है निखिल एन कंपनी भी बेच रही है आचलत एन कंपनी भी बेच रही है अब चारों बेच रहे हैं सेम मोर ओल सेम टाइप ऑफ प्रोडक्ट तो मेरे लिए कलेक्टिव रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इज नॉट ओनली कि मैं ब्रांड सिर्फ ब्रांड को प्रमोट करूं मुझे किसी तरीके से ऑर्डर मैनेजमेंट इस तरीके से रखना है कि मैं चारों को बिजनेस देता रहूं अदरवाइज रवि एंड कंपनी विल नॉट बी इंटरेस्टेड कहेगा मेरे को फ्लिपकार्ट से आती है यार मैं स्नैपडील में क्यों रहूं छोड़ो इसको बंद कर देगा वो आपके साथ काम करना सो दिस इज हाउ राइट बट अगर इफ आई एम एन एम्प्लॉय इन रवि एंड कंपनी और मैं चार पांच जगह पर हूं तो मेरे ऑब्जेक्टिव थोड़े से चेंज हो जाते हैं तो फिर मुझे प्रमोशन उस हिसाब से करना पड़ेगा Aggregators are who just come in between and take it forward. Uh, Ola is one of them. There are various uh, taxi hailing sites who has come, and there are also now retail-based sites, uh, hyper local deliveries, which they give. Jugnu is one of them. So what they do is that you can pick any order from that area, and we will pick it for you and bring it back to you. You can order a chowmin, you can order a Pepsi, you can order anything, you can order groceries. हम आसपास देखेंगे जो best rate होगा उस हिसाब से आपको आगे deliver कर देंगे जिस तरीके से भी उन्होंने show करें. So that becomes an aggregator. So they are not selling their own product. They are not even marketplace हैं वो किसी तरीके से. But they come as aggregator mode, right? All right. Uh, now this is something I really want all you guys to give a little concentration. at a very first lecture of digital marketing course i really want to give a glimpse of how an employer who want to employ a digital marketer in its team as a consultant or as a full time employee expects from a digital marketer this is a real practical example there is a food oriented app uh, in a form of quinto to so, un aas paas ke best uh, प्रोडक्ट फूड ओरिएंटेड प्रोडक्ट बिरयानी है या लेट्स से कोई और प्रोडक्ट है उसकी रेटिंग दिखाते हैं वो कहाँ पे मिल रहा है क्या रिव्यूज एंड ऑल दैट सो यू कैन चेक इट आउट एंड यू कैन गो एज अ कस्टमर सो वंस दे वांट इन देयर 
डिजिटल मार्केटिंग मार्केटिंग टीम और डिजिटल मार्केटर दिस इज वट दे एक्सपेक्ट तो एक लाइन का क्वेश्चन है कि इफ यू हैव अ प्रोडक्ट लाइक क्विंटो हाउ यू गोन अचीव वन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड यूजर्स इन ट्वेंटी फोर वीक्स सो दिस इज वॉट आई वॉज सेंग इन दी स्टार्टिंग दैट एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटर इट इज नॉट ओनली कि मैं टूल कैसे चलाऊँ कि ई मेल मार्केटिंग मैं ई मेल को थ्रो कर सकूँ या मैं टूल कैसे चलाऊँ कि मैं फेसबुक में एड कैसे करते हैं या यूट्यूब में जो वो एड आती है वो कौन सा टूल यूज करके आती है इट इज नॉट मोर देन इनफ एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटर एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटर दिस इज वॉट दे आस्क राइट so just to uh, and in marketing there are no right and wrong answers <laughs> i should also tell you so koi bhi answer specific nahi hota everybody will have its own way of looking into it and giving suggestions so why don't you just to be interactive why don't you guys just throw whatever answers you have for this we'll give one minute to this throw any answers I know it is too early to ask this question. But never mind. Chitranshi says no idea. So you can plan that. Hundred thousand users, twenty four weeks. Me, chahiye. First six weeks, me four weeks, me. We will campaign. We will run. We will do this. We will do that. We will do this. We will do that. We will do this. We will do that. who can be my potential target so your divided target your first written it down the target target is let's say 16 17 year old youth to 30 35 male female both aur ye mera potential market hai yes achala they saying uh, demo so yes you can do that yes of course free download you can do that so What what you are saying is आपने वो टारगेट डिफाइन कर लिया आपने सेगमेंटेशन डिफाइन कर ली फिर आपने उसके लिए कोई क्रिएटिव बना लिया प्रमोट करने के लिए एंड यू आर चूजिंग दी मीडियाज नाउ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग यार मैं ई मेल मार्केटिंग करूँ या फिर मैं फेसबुक में प्रमोशन करूँ या फिर मैं यूट्यूब में एड करूँ या मैं सर्च इंजन ऑप्टिमाइजेशन पर ज्यादा फोकस करूँ राधर देन पेड एड्स या मैं की वर्ड सर्च वाले एड्स में चला जाऊँ राइट नो इट्स ओनली एप बेस्ड बट लेट्स अज्यूम इट्स ऑल्सो वेबसाइट बेस्ड सो वट शुड आई डू and then you do it right this was another example sometimes they not only going to ask you with unlimited budget they will also give you a budget and ask you ki aap kaise split karoge 5 crore rupees agar aapko marketing operations wo karne hai how you going to do that so this is vegal vegal is basically liquor oriented uh, rating sites of matlab wo aapko batayega various pubs and all that in in the area so anyways this is i have taken example of womania uh, my brand uh, it's an e-commerce brand so first you start looking it from uh, bottom up approach so first up core value dekho niche se dekhenge isko fir core strategy dekhenge highways dekhenge kaun se vehicle lenge kaun usko drive karega aur kya carry karega so first you you picked up a product let's say it's a new product it's a startup new brand and first you have written down that this can be the core value for womania the aspirational up town girl is the core value mujhe wahan tak pahunchna hai then you strategize in the form of what can be the core strategy the core strategy can be i should reach one potential target one on one or your strategy can be let's say for example i write reviews on uh, let's say uh, Uh, अभी को नया एग्जांपल लेते हैं मारुति हैज कम अप विद अ न्यू ब्रांड बलिनो इज एवरीबॉडी अवेयर अबाउट दैट एक मिड सेगमेंट कार आई है उनकी बलिनो हैचबैक विच इज इन द ब्रैकेट ऑफ स्विफ्ट एंड अमेज एंड ऑल दैट नाउ सिंस बलिनो उन्होंने लॉन्च करी सो व्हाट विल बी देयर फर्स्ट थिंग इवन ऑन टू द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग एक्सपेक्ट द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट द क्रिएट अ ट्राइब ट्राइब एज जो ब्लॉग्स लिखते हैं जो रिव्यूज लिखते हैं कार्स के कोई यूट्यूब वीडियोस में जो रिव्यूज देते हैं कार के या चैनल्स जिसमें न्यूज चैनल्स में जिसमें रिव्यूज आते हैं सो वट देर फोकसिंग इज देर फोकसिंग ओनली दैट ग्रुप उस तक में सबसे क्योंकि अभी आपने बहुत ज्यादा प्रमोशन एग्रेसिवली टीवी पर नहीं देखा होगा बलिनो का सो देर राइट नाउ देर फोकस एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटिंग और ऑफलाइन और ऑनलाइन इज टू वर्ड्स creating the tribes now these are the tribe who spread words like for example i am spreading word of balino right now because i really like that so mereko pata chal gaya 
we have 12 other members in in this group right now who are chatting to each other ab 12 logo ko aur pata chal gaya so this is how you know as a digital marketer you will be able to approach it और योर स्ट्रैटेजी कैन बी कि मेरे को ट्राइब्स को फोकस नहीं करना मुझे हर एक एंड कंज्यूमर को अलग अलग मैसेज पहुंचाना है दैट कैन बी एक्सपेंसिव बट दैट कैन बी आल्सो वन ऑफ द स्ट्रैटेजीज सो दिस इज लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल व्हाट एप्पल डज एप्पल सिर्फ ट्राइब्स को करता है जब कोई भी नया एप्पल का प्रोडक्ट आने वाला होता है तो वो एक तो हाइप होती है लेकिन फिर उसके बाद प्रेजेंटेशन जो स्टीव जॉब्स देता था वो सिर्फ कोर ब्लॉगर्स को ऑल ओवर कंट्री से ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड से ही ही गोना कॉल देम एंड ही गोना deliver the presentation to to only those limited group of people aur fir wo uske bare mein aisa ho halla hota tha ya likhte the ki aapke bare mein aap you get crazy about buying it right so that is one of the strategies then what kind of highway you're going to choose what tools you're going to choose what vehicles what ultimate verticals you're going to choose ki aap website pe bhi ek promotion ka window rakhenge apni या गूगल एडसेंस को यूज करते हैं एडवर्ड्स को यूज करते हैं मैं अभी आपको एक्सप्लेन कर दूंगा इन वन लाइन व्हाट आर ऑल दीज एडसेंस एडवर्ड्स क्या है सोशल मीडिया मार्केटिंग क्या है डिटेल में तो हम ड्यूरिंग द कोर्स हम हर एक टॉपिक को एक एक लेंगे बट आई जस्ट गिव यू हाईलाइट वट इट इज लेट वी हैव आई थिंक आई एम गोइंग लिटिल स्लो सो आई जस्ट पिक इट अप वेरी फास्ट नाउ वट ड्राइवर्स आई बी टेंग वट काइंड ऑफ क्रिएटर आई बी यूजिंग एंड हम किस तरीके से मैसेजेस लिखेंगे उसमें एनीवेज सो दिस इज इन नट शेल वट आई वॉन्ट अभी थोड़ा ज्यादा थियोरिटिकल हो रहा है बाकी सेशन विल नॉट बी दैट थियोरिटिकल द फर्स्ट सेशन इज बिकॉज आई रियली वॉन्ट यू टू कंज्यूम दी विजडम ऑफ मार्केटिंग एंड वट यू नो वट अल्टीमेटली इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वट आई वॉन्ट से इज दैट वेन एवर सम ब्रांड वॉन्ट्स टू कीप यू और यू वॉन्ट टू डू अ प्रैक्टिस इन योर ओन ब्रांड एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटर it is not that you can do a good accounts it is not that you can run a facebook ka tool hai ad manager ka aur wahan ja ke kar sakte hain google adword ko kaise use karna hota hai it's not only that anybody can learn that but it's how you're going to manage the finance it's how you're going to manage in in case of accountant and financer and in case of digital marketing how you're going to run the campaigns and make it successful right so this is the phenomena which goes same now i'll just quickly touch of various verticals various parts of digital marketing with a with an illustration uh, i'm not sure how many of uh, you know about this game there is a game called governor of uh, poker poker is if an it's an online game but poker is basically an uh, a game which is very similar to teen patti jo india mein teen patti flash khelte hain uh, western nations mein jo hai wo poker hota hai right थोड़ा सा रूल्स वगैरह डिफरेंट है इट्स अ गैमलिंग गेम सो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग द हाइपोथेटिकल एग्जांपल लेट्स से एनीवेज हैव यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड टिल नाउ एक बेसिक कंसेप्ट आपको डिजिटल मार्केटिंग का समझ में आ रहा है वो व्हाट इज एक्सपेक्टेड आउट ऑफ डिजिटल मार्केटर चित्रांशी हर्षिका मुकेश या ऑल राइट नाउ लेट्स से Yes, I shall. Ata, uh, we'll share that. We'll share that. In fact, you can also uh, access the yeah the video. So, us me, this all cover will be covered. But separately, also, uh, I'll ask the administration of digital marketing part to share the PPTs with all of you in, in your email IDs. So, <clears throat> this is the thank you. The uh, illustration is <clears throat> that that there is. a cowboy uh, you go to a new city let's assume that you go to a new city of texas aur aapne wahan par ek ek cowboy pub khola jahan pe aap gambling allow karte ho aur beer wagaira aap bechte hain right this is it it's a bar it's a pub so you can also play a few poker games and pool games and all that aur ab wo kar rahe hain so this is the example let's say it's a new thing what is this color coding red orange green and yellow whenever i'm going to take the examples i'll also compare it with like this ki ye seo se m ki tarah hai aur jahan par bhi red color hoga it will like ki jahan par aap koi promotion kar rahe ho aur aapko khud se pay karna hai jahan pe bhi green likha hoga it uh, green batch aa raha hoga green means where you can also earn yellow is a digital marketing tool which is free and orange is something which is in between 
I'll demonstrate once once we go through. So let's say you have opened a new, you have come out to the new city. So what do you do first? You look down for a place, which is, in other words, you will book a domain name. Then you will start constructing a saloon. A saloon over here is the pub and all that. Uh, that is basically, you are building a website. Right? And you are making your purpose, you are making content based, you are making retail based. Bana rahe keeping in view ki main promotion usko kaise kar sakun. like for example for a email site it really really helps ki mera banner size kitna bada hona chahiye category page mein kitne uh, you know products ek bar mein show karne chahiye because it works as a promotion if people like you they want to stay with you and they will repeat repeatedly come to you and they will repeatedly buy from you so even website making which is in other words i was saying ki it doesn't start with promotion it also start with product making so this is how right so you're constructing that that becomes a part of creating a website keeping in view ki sabko easy access mile sab easily consume kar bai. so this is how it's gonna be then us area mein koi bhi poochta hai ki yaar koi haan pe koi achche sa pub hai jaha pe mein i can go over there and i can enjoy have a chill beer over there so जिससे उसने पूछा है वो इजीली आपको बता दे और उसको पता हो सो दैट इन अदर वर्ड्स आई एम सेइंग इन डिजिटल मार्केटिंग स्पेस इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग इफ यू आर वर्किंग फॉर अ ब्रांड इट शुड बी वेरी सर्चेबल राइट क्योंकि आप यू जस्ट लुक ऑन टू द पिक्चर एवरीबॉडी हैज अ ब्लू टॉप सब एक जैसे से लग रहे हैं लेकिन फिर भी कि, किसी एक का मैसेज अलग से डिस्प्ले हो रहा है कुछ ना कुछ बताया जा रहा है डोंट गो लिटरली विद व्हाटएवर इज रिटन just take the examples very metaphorically so this is like if it been asked with somebody wo bata sake in other words your brand if it searched online aur ye banda jo bata raha hai wo hamare case mein can be google can be duckduckgo can be any search uh, engine ki jisse pucha jaye jaise let's say कई बार ये भी होता है कि डायरेक्टली ये ना पूछा जाए कि एक चिल्ड बियर क्या मिलेगी इसे भी ये पूछा जाए कि यार आज बहुत गर्मी है वेर आई कैन गो एंड रिलैक्स एंड वो आपको ये बोल दे कि यार वहां पे ना अच्छी बियर मिलती है वाई डोंट यू गो एंड ट्राई इट सो इवन दैट बिकम्स द थिंग सो योर ब्रांड शुड बी सर्चेबल सो एज अ डिजिटल मार्केटर द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव विच यू ट्राई टू कीप इट इज कि यार कभी भी पूछा जाए तो बता दू एंड इन ऑनलाइन स्पेस इफ Google is actually having a great amount of monopoly, so I'll I'll try to learn those tools in Google. Ki mar searchable banjo in Google. What can be those tools? If you look, every card is closed except a blue hat wala card, jiska six five is show kar raha hai. So there can be a paid version of it. There can be a non-paid version of it. So poochne pe iska jo dikhaya gaya hai, wo ye hai ki if I'm when it's been asked. और मी एज अ ब्रांड वॉन्ट्स इम मटीरियल कि मैं अपनी वेबसाइट को सर्चेबल टेक्निकली uh, कैसे बनाऊं या ना बनाऊं सर्च इंजन कितनी जल्दी मुझे ढूंढ सके या ना ढूंढ सके मैं सर्च इंजन को ये कहता हूं कि यार टेक दिस अमाउंट ऑफ मनी और जब भी कोई मेरे लिए इस बारे में पूछेगा लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हैव अमेन ओरिएंटेड एप्रल बेस्ड साइट और जिसमें मैं सन ग्लासेस भी बेच रहा हूँ कपड़े भी बेच रहा हूँ ज्वेलरी भी बेच रहा हूँ और उसमें मेरे को कोई सन ग्लासेस के बारे में पूछे तो मेरा सबसे पहले बता दो आप जस्ट टेक मनी एंड शो मी आउट देन इट बिकम्स अ पेड वर्जन विच बिकम्स सर्च इंजन मार्केटिंग एंड ऑन दी अदर हैंड आई एम सेइंग कि यार ये तो ये हो गया कि मैंने अलग से पे कराए लेकिन टेक्निकली सर्च इंजन ऐसे भी तो काम करता होगा कि जैसे ही कोई की कोई किसी ने पूछा कोई क्वेरी करी कोई की डाला सर्च करने के लिए गूगल सर्च बार में तो वो अपने आप से फेच करता होगा ना अपने डेटाबेस में से कि ये कहाँ कहाँ पर वो होता होगा इन दी स्टार्टिंग दे हैव नॉट स्टार्टेड विद एस सी एम दे स्टार्टेड विद एस सो वंस यू मेक अ वेबसाइट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट सेंटर टू दी सिटी हो इजिली कलरेबल हो बड़ा सा अट्रैक्टिव उसके आगे कोई ना कोई यू नो ग्लिम्स हो सो वॉट एम डूइंग इज जो मैं वेबसाइट बना रहा हूँ मैं उसको बहुत ज्यादा सर्च ओरिएंटेड रखना चाहता हूँ So that becomes an SEO. Why it is yellow? Because it comes with your effort of making it. आप पेज कितना best design कर सकते हैं, कितना user friendly, uh, searchable friendly design कर सकते हैं. But आप उसके लिए कोई extra pay नहीं कर रहे. So it becomes free to you and it becomes search engine optimization. That is why it is called कि search engine उसको 
ऑप्टिमाइजेशन ओरिएंटेशन में ऑप्टिमाइज वे में उसको पिक कर सके आ भी क्लियर है वट इज एस सी एम एंड वट इज एस यू एनी डाउट यू कैन जस्ट प्रॉन्ट मी इन बिटवीन इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट आई विल बी रियली रियली हैप्पी टू क्लियर दैट फ्री टूल्स फॉर सच एबल Yes, I'm. I'm repeating. I'll repeat with the practical example. Yes, I'll try to clear whatever doubt you have. Let's say I've opened Google. कोई भी एक प्रोडक्ट आप मुझे बताओ जो आप you're looking to buy or you're searching to buy. Just name one product, anything. Quickly, anybody can say that. T. So I'm saying T. बेसिकली पिक द प्रोडक्ट जिसमें एड नहीं आ रहा है कैन यू जस्ट नेम एनी थिंग एल्स लेट से नाइक आई एम टेकिंग दिस बिकॉज इसमें दोनों एग्जाम्पल्स आ रहे हैं लेट से फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई डन नाइकी और लेट से आई रिटर्न शूज नो सी गैस अभी सर्च इंजन में हमने यस I've taken the shoes as an example. I'm taking category and not the brand name because once I take the category, you'll in in one page you'll get the examples of SEO and SEM both, right? Now let's have done shoes. So now you're just here. You're seeing this. These shoes. करके यहाँ पे directly आप buy कर सकते हैं जाके. Now this is a part of search engine marketing because Snap Deal over here has paid Google to. मार्केट दिस प्रोडक्ट ऑन दी टॉप वेन समबडी सर्च इज शूज सो उसने एक अलग से पेमेंट करा है राइट सो दिट बिकम्स अ पार्ट ऑफ सर्च इंजन मार्केटिंग इफ यू सी यूर हेयर हेयर इट इज कमिंग एज एड इट इज कमिंग एज एड दैट मीन्स दैट दीज आर बीन पेड टू गूगल वेन एवर समबडी सर्च इज दैट तो ये की वर्ड सर्च में दिस इज की वर्ड सर्च एड सो इट बीन पेड सो इट बिकम्स अ पार्ट ऑफ एस सी एम सर्च इंजन मार्केटिंग की सर्च इंजन पे कोई मार्केटिंग मुझे करनी है पे करके या पेड वर्जन ऑफ इट फिर बिकम्स दैट देन देर आर नॉन पेड सर्च विच इज ऑर्गेनिक सर्च यानी कि सर्च इंजन जो अपनी तरफ से कर रहा है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि वो सिर्फ उसी को दिखाएगा जिसने पैसे दिए हैं वो अपना अल्गोरिथम के हिसाब से सर्च करके देगा लेकिन वो ऊपर प्रायोरिटी उसको दे देता है जो उसको पैसे देता है तो उसने प्रायोरिटी में इनको रखा है टॉप का लेकिन ओवर हेयर वेर यू सू सी की कहीं पे एड नहीं लिखा हुआ है विच इज नॉट अ स्पॉन्सर्ड लिंक देन इट इज अनऑर्गेनिक सॉरी इट इज ऑर्गेनिक वे ऑफ सर्चेस तो यहां पर गूगल ने इस ये जो आपको दिखाई दे रहा है दिस जबोंग वाला दिस इज एन एफर्ट ऑफ अ डिजिटल मार्केटर हु हैज डन सर्च इंजन मार्केटिंग यस अनिमान विल कवर इट इन डिटेल वंस वी कवर गूगल एडवर्ड यस will cover that in detail this is session not to cover everything in detail it is just to give you idea of what everything means right all right otherwise we uh, won't be able to finish it on time so what do you see over here ye amazon ka aa raha hai ya snap deal ka aa raha hai ye priti i'll answer that first i'll just complete what i was saying uh, snap deal ka raha hai these are all the efforts of search engine optimization so wo har ek page ko ऑप्टिमाइज प्रॉपरली कर रखा है उन्होंने सो दैट इट कम फ्रॉम दी टॉप राइट नाउ प्रीति इज आस्किंग वट इफ टेन सेलर्स है टू पे दी एडवर्टाइज सो मच ये गूगल प्रायोरिटाइज ऑन देयर अलगोरिथम और वो जो टेन सेलर्स ने दिया है या जो उन टेन सेलर्स ने दिया है एंड यूल बी सरप्राइज देर नॉट ओनली टेन सेलर्स देर बी थाउजेंड ऑफ सेलर्स सो जो टेन सेलर्स ने कॉम्पीट कर रहे हैं फॉर सेम इट विल बी डिवाइडेड ऑन वेरियस ट्स जब हम ये गूगल एडवर्ड्स को कर रहे होंगे पेड एड को कवर कर रहे होंगे आई लेट यू नो बिडिंग स्ट्रैटेजी के हिसाब से भी हो जाता है डिवाइड और आप किस तरीके से एड को आपने जियोग्राफिकली लोकेट कर रखा है उस हिसाब से भी डिवाइड होता है दो विल बी डिफरेंट एट्रीब्यूट बेस्ड ऑन विच अ प्रायोरिटी इज गिवन टू एक्स सेलर एंड नॉट डी वाई सेलर राइट सो दिस इज हाउ इट गोज Uh, everybody understood the basic concept of it all right so all right i'm moving now uh, 
I'm sure sorry it is taking a hell lot of time in only covering uh, the basic part. We'll, on the latter half of this session, we have to cover the practical run of email uh, marketing using a tool. So, we will cover that in which way we will promote that. Cover uh, then, let's say uh, I have a website or I have this bar and in this bar, I have thought that people are consuming it, so it's okay. But there are very fashionable people coming over here. Why don't I do one thing? I have a space outlet for a company that sells hats. So what do I do? If anyone comes to the saloon, the bar, the pub, there is a different space where there are hats. And people can also have a third brand advertisement and have additional revenue for me. Right? So that is... What is Google AdSense? So I can have a blogging site, I can have a content-based site, I can also have an e-commerce site. और उसमें मैंने जो अलग से ad कोई third party को ad देने के लिए मैंने space रखा हुआ है. That is the way I can also earn it. So there are two things over here. When I use Google AdWords is 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 a tool where I'm going to the Google and I'm ready to pay to the Google. और मैं Google को ये कहता हूँ कि कोई आपसे search करता है keyword का या फिर आपकी जो partner sites हैं कोई भी Google AdSense में जाके उसकी partner site बन सकता है तो मेरी ad वहाँ पे भी दिखा देना और I'm ready to pay you. Then I'm using the tool which is Google AdWords. And when I'm that site host site which let's say I'm a blogging site or let's say my site is nikhil.com and I have blogs account on digital marketing and I think that why should I not have an additional source of revenue that if someone is digital marketing and search for my ad will show me on my website and someone will show me on a third ad for some brand so Google has come in between and saying that advertiser is ready to pay and host is ready to earn and what I will use the tool Google AdSense and you can put your ad over here and you can earn. So that is Google AdSense. When I have a site and I want to sell my space and earn out of it, then I'm, uh, Google has given me a tool called Google AdSense. I have to register on Google AdSense. And if the ads start coming onto my site, I'll get a revenue share of whatever ads say Google come out. And I'm as a digital marketer, if I want to promote in an ad, in our website, Google Partner website, so I have to use Google AdWords. Have you understood what is the basic difference? Abhi ho sakta hai, puri se mein hai. Once we use the tools, you will understand, right? All right. Email marketing, let's say, as pas ke usme unhone promote kara poster chabai, or harik jitne bhi aage koi, let's say, koi stable hai. पास में या कोई एंटरटेनमेंट सेंटर है कोई थिएटर है कोई स्कूल है वहाँ जा जा के बांटने लग गए अबाउट दिस पब सो दे आर यूजिंग इन वन वेरी ईमेल मार्केटिंग कि वो एंड कंज्यूमर को जा जा के लीफलेट्स बांट रहा है कुछ कर रहा है दिस इज इन ऑनलाइन स्पेसेस लाइक ईमेल मार्केटिंग राइट वेबसाइट एनालिस and then social media marketing and there is a part in the city which is an entertainment club there is a club in the theater, there is a club in the horse riding there is a club in the sports and everybody goes in the evening and you know interact with each other and sit down and have a concert and all of them come for their recreation so if I am alright am I audible now? is it better now? and if I am promoting some मैं वहाँ जाके कोई बैनर लगा देता हूँ या मैं किसी भी तरीके से वहाँ जाके प्रमोट करने की कोशिश करता हूँ। So I mean other words what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do social media promotions in online. Facebook में you go to surf Facebook, you do not go to look onto my brand's ad. YouTube में आप YouTube का वीडियो देखने गए हैं आप मेरी ad देखने नहीं गए हैं। मेरी ad तो बीच में आ रही है। So you are there for your social media purpose and I just come in between. So that is social media marketing. Affiliate marketing, I'll just give you a practical example of affiliate marketing. This is yebi.com, it's an online e-commerce site. Or let's say, I want to buy, I go to women. 
ये साइट कितना इट्स लुक लाइक अ मार्केट प्लेस साइट बट इट्स एन एफिलेट साइट व्हाट इज एफिलेट राइट नो इट्स नॉट ओन सेलिंग एफिलिएट इज बेसिकली व्हेन यू आर जस्ट पुटिंग अ ट्रैफिक ऑन अदर साइट so you becomes an affiliate to that i'll give you an example let's say you go to women category and let's say apne jeans and capris mein gaye and so this is this is some other disturbance uh, you know then this is not coming from here i'm sorry i'm just stopping in between to reply to you know, All right. Now you click on that. And you'll see that you have been taken to Snapdeal. So aap Snapdeal ke landing page pe aa gaye. So what is happening? Ye bhi is an affiliate site which have signed a contract and affiliate contract with Snapdeal with Flipkart and everything aur unka अपना प्रोडक्ट मॉडल ये है कि मैं इस तरीके से दिखाऊंगा और फिर जैसे ही कोई उसको परचेज करने के लिए जाएगा वो स्नैपडील में जाएगा और स्नैपडील से ही सारे ट्रांजैक्शन होंगे सो आई बिकेम एन एफिलिएट मैं उसका एफिलिएट बना हुआ एंड वट एवर ट्रांजेक्शन वैल्यू होगा आई एल गेट अस इन टेक्निकल लैंग्वेज यू कैन कॉल इट लग इन बट इन मार्केटिंग लैंग्वेज इट इज एफिलिएट मार्केटिंग सो दैट एफिलिएट इज नॉट ओनली बाय दिस एफिलिएट मार्केटिंग कैन बी सी एट द एंड ऑफ द डे Anybody can be an affiliate to Snapdeal as long as they're drawing traffic to them. So, आप चाहे ब्लॉग लिख के लेके आओ आप चाहे इस तरीके से कोई ई कॉमर्स का साइट का लुक एंड फील दे दो और उस तरीके से लेके आओ यू डू वट एवर एंड यू बिकम्स एन एफिलियट साइट जंगली अभी उनका लेटेस्ट वो क्या है टू चेक इट आउट बट इफ इट इज ड्रॉपिंग टू अमेजन डॉट इन जंगली डॉट कॉम इज एन एफिलियट साइट है अगर जंगली डॉट कॉम से यू आर अल्टीमेटली गेटिंग इन टू प्राइस कंपेरिजन आपको दिखते हैं और आप क्लिक करके यू गेट टू दैंडिंग पेज ऑफ एमेजन डॉट इन देन यस जंगली इज एन एफिलियट साइट इन दैट केस राइट सो एवरीबडी अंडरस्टूड टिल है राइट सो ये सब अभी हमने बेसिक कवर कर लिया कि कंसेप्ट क्या क्या है डिजिटल मार्केटिंग के लिए अब हर एक को विल कवर during the course of uh, during this course every subject will be given one or two sessions to it depending upon its length to cover so you'll understand everything in detail ki wo tools kaise use honge kis tarike se hoga and all that right so this is the horizon of digital marketing and this is the feedback link i can just skip that uh now we have an hour left uh, for this so we'll be covering email marketing now in 10 15 minutes we'll cover the theoretical part of email marketing and then in uh, 40 45 minutes we'll run a campaign of email marketing right right what is email marketing it is basically directly e- emailing a message onto your inbox right uh, broadly it can be divided into two email marketing do tarike se ho sakta hai ek ye ho sakta hai ki aap uh, uh, प्रमोशनल या डायरेक्ट मैसेजेस भेज रहे हैं और एक होता है ट्रांजेक्शनल एस एम एस वॉट इज दिस सॉरी ट्रांजेक्शनल ई मेल एस एम एस भी सेम क्लासिफिकेशन पर चलता है जैसे ई मेल का है एनी वेज आई गॉट दिस ई मेल फ्रॉम फ्री चार्ज वेन आई फॉर अ फ्रेंड आई जस्ट आई परचेज अ रिचार्ज कूपन फॉर माई फ्रेंड सो आई गॉट दिस ऑन माई ई मेल एड्रेस वॉट इज दैट मैंने एक ट्रांजेक्शन करा और ब्रांड ने मुझे एज अ रिप्लाई उस ट्रांजेक्शन के लिए इन जो आएगा या उस ट्रांजेक्शन की जो डिटेल्स होंगी वो मुझे करा सो व्हाट इज दिस ईमेल जो मेरे पास आया है दिस इज अ ट्रांजेक्शनल ईमेल दिस इज नॉट अ प्रमोशनल ईमेल राइट सो ट्रांजेक्शन हैज हैपेंड एंड इट इज इन रिस्पॉन्स टू दैट वेर एज इफ यू लुक इन टू दिस इंडियन रूट डॉट कॉम से जो मेरे पास आया इट एज सडनली ड्रॉप डेन इन बिटवीन वेर दे आर प्रमोटिंग दर सेल फॉर पर्टिकुलर डिजाइनर्स एंड ऑल दैट सो दिस इज अ प्रमोशनल ई मेल 
right so this way is it is promotional or transactional have you understood what is the difference between promotional email and transactional email all right now this is um, the four char characteristics you can say or the four advantages also uh, out of all what we have discussed uh, different verticals of digital marketing we are covering uh, email today but and we are going to cover what advantages email gives not only in comparison to other verticals of digital marketing but marketing as such right so first advantage which email gives is it's a continual effect if i have a right to send you a promotional email in, into your inbox directly one on one basis your interest and me as a brand i can have a continual relationship mai aapko frankly har roz bhej sakta hu now it is as a digital marketer you have to decide on what frequency you want to sell or you want to uh, send the emails but i basically i can have a continual effect of aaj mere ye wala product category launch hui hai to maine aapko bhej diya no it is not continental it is continual it is continuous there is two words continuous and continual in english there are two words which is con continuous means continuous but for short run no it's not in short there are two different words uh, again and then continual is a different word continuous is a different word yeah continual all right all right all right it's okay continual is basically when it's for long run and it is having fulfilled its objective at a regular basis then it is called continual anything so it has a continual effect windows to let you know is it gives you also an advantage with one email which you have drafted a promotional email you can throw it to n number of people by n i mean literally n think about compare it in your mind with any other marketing effort aapne koi ek let's say aapne koi ek hard copy email likha hai to aap at a very negligible cost how many people can you reach here it is no thing in just a click of a button simultaneously i can reach to 10000 10 lakh 1 crore people simultaneously ek hi baar mein main pahunch gaya unke inbox tak so it giving me a window to approach directly it also gives me an advantage of a special purpose vehicle sometimes i can use it specifically not sometimes not even promotional not even transactional but koi alag si koi cheez hui hai abhi mere brand mein or i have to address to all the customers or potential customers and i want to address it so i can also use it as special purpose uh, vehicle like for example i'll give you a very typical example uh, yes uh, i'll let you know cost is very negligible there are free tools available we are going to use the free tool and you will see that it is very at a very very less cost yes we'll run a practical example we'll run uh, on a tool and then we'll see how to create an email list acha lata i'll i'll describe everything one by one let's focus on the advantages and characteristics uh, of it for for another two more minutes uh, as a special purpose vehicle let's i was taking an example uh, last year not this diwali but last diwali uh, last year's diwali uh, flipkart come came up with big billion sale that was their first introduction towards big billion sale and they were expecting a great amount of traffic but they were not expecting the traffic which they got they got a multiple times higher traffic and in return, and in uh, as a result of that they were not able to give a you know a good service on that day bahut sare hook ups hue side drop hone lag gaya kai log बाइंग कार्ड तक चले गए लेकिन परचेज नहीं कर पाए परचेज भी हो गया तो ऑफलाइन डिलीवरी नहीं हो पाया सो बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्रेट अमाउंट ऑफ ऑर्डर विच हैव एक्चुअली लैंडेड अप दे वर नॉट एबल टू यू नो परफॉर्म टू दी ऑप्टिम लेवल ऑन ऑन दैट डे ऑन दैट से फॉर नेक्स्ट डे द टॉप मैनेजमेंट इंक्लूडिंग सच इन्वेंशन इनफैक्ट 
Sachin Manchal have wrote an email and send it to all their customers who were registered the site with the millions of customers they have sent it with one email so they they basically have it was an apology mail it basically includes the content in the lieu of that we we are not expecting this kind of traffic and uh, you know we will not repeat it and all that and all that so it was to convince the customer not to go so it becomes a special offer vehicle and then it also gives you an advantage of based on on your taste you can do that like for example if we have an e-commerce site dealing in fashion and there are various categories usme apparels bhi hai usme uh, jewelry bhi hai usme shoes bhi hai and there are different categories and i have i have you know somehow divided my customers into different groups and i know that abhinandan is more fond of apparels so abhinandan apparel wali category mein chitranchi is more fond you know towards the shoes buying so wo shoes buying mein aise maine divide kar rakha hai so i can what i can do is jo maine email banaya hai draft kara hai to promote shoes i'll push it to a group in which chitranchi is there and i i can also do jo apparel ke liye kar raha hai i'll promote it to abhinandan so that way i can you know play it around towards the own taste of the customer if in case i have that right so i can do that anyway it's lot of theories which has been covered uh what could possibly go wrong yes sometimes it can go wrong uh i'll give you an example in the end what can possibly go wrong uh but let's run a dry run now dry run to run a campaign an email campaign right uh so every everybody clear till here we'll just quickly run the dry run mailchimp is a is a site is a tool which you can use they have different product they have a free product they have a paid product so we can use a free product and we can check it out how to promote it you can create a you can register yourself as as you register in any other site on the email pe jaise register karte hain aise easily you can sign up in them once you sign up this is how it's going to be over here uh, i'm taking an hypothetical example so there is only limited to let you understand how it goes so it has campaigns templates list and all that so we'll go one by one we can start creating a campaign straight away but we'll first go down to the list in fact that was also the question which was asked in between so first you go with the list aapne jinko email bhejna hai it will divide into different modules first you have to create the list jinko email jayega then you have to create the design and then you have to throw it out right so or shoot it out so this is how you can create your own list like for example i have created uh, these list let's say i'm creating a new list that is yes uh, achala i am answering your question you are saying that uh, can you discuss where to get email that that will not report a bureau or unsubscribe subscribe it is best that you promote it on the other media than get the email id from them let's say for example you can promote it on to your website you can promote into the other social medias as a campaign and ask them to subscribe it once they click on to that lands up to your landing page uh, you can ask them to subscribe it and that is why there are various newsletters which you see uh, once you open a site any new site like this is the example uh, when as i was the first user as soon as i logged in to the room even before accessing the home page they put this ad sometimes people made it mandatory as an e-commerce site this is the module which you can use uh, if you let's say if i log on to your site the first thing which you see is you can sub- i can subscribe to be a new letter i can also use the basic campaigning uh, of uh, google adwords through 
facebook and other social media where i'll try to bring them to the website landing page where there is a subscribe button so this is how i can prompt them this can only go you can use the media as an inorganic way but this can only go once you have the organic registration as, as means that somebody has to potentially click the button of subscribe that is the best way so the various tools which you can use is your site the other site where you can advertise uh, and then you can use it right all right uh, all right so you just create a list you can name let's say digital marketing parts all our trainees or let's say 13th december batch right this is the email address from which it will go let's say i have written gumanurat from name let's say or let's say name comes as dmp december batch so this will be name uh, which will be shown in the inbox yeah. a short reminder see they they'll basically keep on asking they won't allow you uh, as per cyber law they won't allow you to promote uh, your promotions without somebody has subscribed you so they will keep you asking in between as a tool like mailchimp is asking they'll keep you asking that how how you get to know that you're authorized to create this list you know somebody has already subscribed to have these emails which you are saying so sending so this is how you do so what you do right now you just write it down let's say because we have been subscribed been chosen to share this offer and do that and you so notification will click for this campaign you want daily summary or not or you want one by one notifications if somebody you know what is this one by one notification is that somebody clicked or opened your email uh, promotion email which you have sent then they'll reply back on to your email id which you have given as an administrator that yes somebody has opened it so i can do it i can also click on daily summary that at the end of the day i should know how many percent have clicked and how, how many have not so i clicked on that and now i'm saying say should move to the next page where i can uh, add the subscriber names so there are two ways of doing about it i can manually write down all email ids or i can also import uh, a csv file a csv file is a derivative of an excel sheet so you can just write down the email ids and names in an excel sheet and save it as csv and then import it over here so i'm just taking an example of going about not importing but going about one by one so why don't you just guys throw your email ids one or two email ids and make a small list and hypothetical list for this anybody can throw their email id yeah sangeeta i'll answer you that first i'll abhinandan this akshayal id is your id or whose id you just um uh, abhinandan is it your id or your friend's id 
otherwise i'll take a different id because fair enough so let's say the first name is abhinandan i'm just writing kumar over here just to fill the field and then it will ask you yes i'm uh, thanks friend you are sharing your email id but i'll i'll just pick one or two for an example because picking up everyone will take some time so they'll ask you has this person given you the permission you say yes and then you subscribe it so one you can see dmp 13 batch it is coming as one as in one subscriber has been added you can pick another let's say you are picking chitranchi last name kumar So this is how you do it. Taking one more. Oh, let it be. I'm adding myself into the list. Let's say this is how you made the list, right? Once you have made the list, you can check it out. DMP thirteen batch three subscriber. These are the stats, right? now since your list has been made now you are creating a campaign you are creating an email promotion email for your brand so you go to campaigns this is the dashboard you can check out the earlier campaigns which you have done that's a new campaign you just go to that and click on a regular campaign once see you can look over here it is divided into five steps these are the four steps where you need to do and focus one is the confirmation one and this is the going to the next window and over here everything according to that particular vertical which you are here the uh, call to actions will come so in first once you have started the campaign on first thing as a recipient they are asking what list you want to send it to so i choose on this Send to the entire list or whatever I'm clicking. Send to the entire list. And then I go next. Right. Name your campaign. Uh, I have to do it for one of my clients. I'm just to so you'll get the practical example of how it is done. So I'm taking that. uh let's say i'm doing it for dilwale test it's a new movie which is coming so one of my client is giving free tickets to promote that his company of dilwale so we are going to do that email subject let's say get free movie tickets or let's say see this is what i was saying not only learning tool is important it is also important that you should make it very objectivized right so what can attract i think this can attract your 
दिल वाले मूवी टिकट्स so it's it's a promotion it's only a promotion mail but what i'm doing is as as soon as it land on to the inbox uh all right i'm so sorry and and uh, abhinandan has asked in fact somebody else has also asked a question in between i'll just uh, will finish this particular window and then i'll answer all the questions which i have skipped in between or i've missed in between right all right uh, so so this becomes an attraction as soon as it land on your page you see acha mere tickets kahan se aaye and then you just click that uh, from name let's say i'm promoting this dmp december batch you can also write down your company name brand name like my comp- my client's name is orienta uh, but i can so i can just write down whatever name from email address i have given my email address track list and all that and then you basically move to next now here the designing part comes first was the uh, basic creation of list and you know creation of subject and all that and then the designing part has come before taking up designing i'll quickly try to answer of the questions which has come in between uh, ash lata has asked can you discuss where to get the email ids as a this i've answered sunita is asking how to get those email ids see the uh, what should i say the side way of getting it is that there are various you can just search it on google there are various companies who are approaching uh, i mean who have the database and ready to give you a database at certain amount which includes let's say 20 paisa 30 paisa per email id and all that for detail so this is how they give you a 10000 ka package hoga 5000 ka package hoga 2000 ka package hoga and you'll get n number of email ids basics which you demand but yes since they are not your subscribed one they can report abuse and you can be barred from using these tools so that is the risk which you follow uh, but it's as a digital marketer you have the i mean this is up to your capacity of understanding and risk taking that what do you want to do with the brand so this is one way of having it the organics way of having uh, it was that we we have discussed uh, while I was answering ashilata's question uh, so these are two three ways where you can use that and there is another way there is a third way where you can approach to the potential people who you think that will have those email ids which can make direct impact like i'll give you a very uh, you know an example related to that I've I've got a promotional email from from this brand Chata Chaudhary. So Chata Chaudhary is a brand. There is a new company with what is they doing is that they have created a book of you know these uh, comics and they are selling it. So for them. the target the primary consumer is children the customer is their parents so what they can do how how they would have got my uh, you know email id out of various tools which they must have used one tool they could have used is like for example i last went for a children movie with my nephew uh, on last week to this uh, to see this uh, the good dinosaur so they can approach book my show and they can say ki aapke paas national level pe jitne bhi children movie dekhne ke liye aaye hain uh, if i am going on behalf of this chata chaudhary educational wala company i can just go to them and i can say uh, that 
why don't you just give give me the email ids and contact details of that and i can sign an offline deal with them pay them and get those email ids this way i know i have the authenticated data i know that these are the targets and i can just approach them so this is another way there are also affiliate marketing sites which uh, let's say for example i'm i'm writing blogs on children and if you comes as a subscriber to me and you want to subscribe it in the terms and condition which you eventually don't see you just tick that and accept the registration i may have written uh, a clause that i can pass it on to the different sites and it you will you are authorizing me to do that so you can also approach third party sites who eventually have the authority in one way you have also got the authority through them so uh, you know it it's basically got into the legal signings of that so these are the some extra effort which you can do and get those uh, i mean uh, get those email ids right Uh, all right uh, are we clear till here uh, how do we get 1 lakh want to mail yes abhinandan you can mail 1 lakh people you can you just have to create a list of 1 lakh email ids and you can mail that so it doesn't matter so abhinandan uh, abhinandan i tell you something Uh, have we understood everybody uh, all out clear till here all right all right uh, now let's say you choose one template you can choose whatever you wish to and let's say you choose one choose one let's say this let's say you do not want you you want to start with uh, you want to start with the image your your content your your email promotion should start with an image so let's say you are deleting this block you don't want this you can delete this and you just want to start with this so you can go to the browse you have you must have made your creative separately and you can just pick those the one you, which you have already used will come into this list and suppose it's not been used before this so you can just click on to the upload but for example i have this image for the lovely campaign new posters lovely open that so you can pick your creative whatever image you want to do pick it here right here you can here will come and in beneath whatever you want to write you can also remove it and add another image box if in case you want to do that but let's say you want to write text over here so on the left you can select the box wherever you want to do the editing and on the right you can just this is all the dummy text which is coming so you can create a line thing you can write you can write well here 
move it ticket the things this is the headline we'll keep it headline and here you can write orientals offering you free tickets Starring so and so and all that, whatever you want to write, you can just write down, right? And on a, on a close. now let's say abhi ye to part ho gaya, promotion ka jahan pe aapne dilwale ka poster dikha diya, but wo kahan pe click karega ki wo land karega humare page pe jahan pe wo tickets le sake. So let's say for this you want to put a image. So up neck image box ala. Up neck for egg image picker. Let's say I'm using this image for example. If in case it's a new image, you can go to the same way we have selected the wallet poster. You can go to the upload and click that. And if it's a image is yours use over here you can use image again now what i want i want if somebody clicks on this image will should land to my uh, website's landing page where it can have the all the details of the tickets and all that so what i do is i want basically what i'm doing is i want to put a link so that somebody clicks over there and it's hyperlink to that so i can just go to link and put a url and that URL can be, let's say, for example, Orientacini. Uh, this is my client for which I'm working. Let's say I've selected this. There can be a specific landing page. I've used the home page as of now, but it can be any particular page over here. So you just do it, you click insert. So it is coming as hyperlink now. You can uh, save and close. This is the standard platform, let it be like that. That you know. This copyright to this, 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 and then you click on next. Then we'll come to the last confirmation page where it will ask you to choose from list and all that. It will basically it is the checking list. Achha, what I can click on send and it will send it across. What I can also do is I can schedule it prior. For example, I want this to be should the mail should be let's say uh, it should shoot on let's say 16th midnight. This is what I want because it's on 18th. Uh, you know the campaign date can be 16th, and I'm free right now as a digital marketer and I want to pre-schedule it and complete my work beforehand so I can just go into the schedule and pre schedule it right I'm not clicking that because otherwise it will so I'm just clicking on to this and we have a very less time so I'm just you can just practice on your own you can schedule and then you can set date and time and then it will be sent automatically right now I'm sending it right now because I want to set it right now. so this is just prepare to launch and I've just sent And it has been sent. Let's see it has, if it has come. Uh, for all those, the, the two email IDs which I have put, 
why don't you guys just check it out on your email if it has come see it has come DMP December batch that is the email ID which we have put subject your Dilwale movie tickets I'm sorry I just missed to put a link over here the way we have put link over here for example we click over here and we we'll land to the landing page we have given you can also put the your uh, brand Facebook page Twitter page and website page address over here as a link the same way so you can just do that right so this is the mail and this is how you can do that it is very easy to design very easy to send and you can do it at absolutely no cost the only cost which will be in, including is of creating this creative wherever you want whatever you want to do and the manager's cost who is basically going to manage it but eventually it come as free right so have you understood till here i mean we have got it the email marketing part Everybody, Abhinandan, Anto, Ashalata, Kutrancha, Mukesh, Preeti. All right. All right. Now, there is one thing which we have to do. Uh, I am sharing the. feedback link again everybody please go to this feedback link it will take just one more minute of you uh, you can just fill it across write your comments it basically is will help us understand uh, you know to make the sessions better in the uh, you know the coming sessions make it very better Please fill that. It's all for your own good, so please do fill that. In the meanwhile, uh, you can throw up your questions, any questions if in case you have regarding session today. And you can ask me anything. You may have certain doubts, uh, even if it's not related to email marketing. You can just ask me anything you want to. I didn't get you. You're sending me a text. Yes, you can do that. Uh, please do fill. Up. And once you are done with the uh, like, Asha, Ashika is I think saying that she has filled this uh, online form, right? Feedback form, right? So. Once you're done with the uh, feedback form, uh, write how you guys written, just write done so that I got to know that you have filled it. I think rather than that, there will be various books, but books will not, will help you understand rather you can just check out few videos and you know, log into few blogs. I'll separately ask the administration, I have a list which I'm not carrying it right now. Uh, I have a separate list in my diary. I'll send across you very good blogs uh, of digital marketing. You can just check it out. I'll ask the admin to mail you separately and then you can check it out. Books are very boring. They are outdated books. MailChimp is free. They also have a paid version uh, where you have a better access, you know, but free is more than enough to start with so they have two three plans they have a free plan they have a paid plan free is more than enough to start with and then once your horizon goes bigger when you're managing so many things uh, on emails then you should go with email promotion then you should go with the paid one so 
Sangeeta has given a number of the company who give email databases. There are many, you can just search it down on the net. There are many. There are many agencies who sell email data. Email marketing, email addresses, buy email addresses, type karenge, you will get a hell lot of companies into here. There are jo SMS based in email ID bhi based in. Uh, promotional SMS jo bhi bech raho, wo email ID bhi based in. Can you please name other alternatives to mail same? There are there are few alternatives. One is this, one is which is very preferable and a good to go is this. This one. Get response. So you can check out get response. In a free version, Abhinandan, you can't. But if you have a paid uh, plan of uh, MailChimp, then uh, it won't uh, come at in the last. In the last. And this is why free versions, you know, it comes with a baggage at comes a certain legacy. So if, so if you want better features, you you have to buy a paid version of it. Uh, friends, are you filling the feedback form? Please, everybody should fill the uh, feedback form. It really helped me out in shaping the further sessions. Please share your comments on that. Any other question? Any more question? You can ask me anything, even if it's not related to email, but marketing or digital marketing as such. Can I? Uh, Shuvam is saying, please give us some task at the end of each session. All right, I'll make a note of it. Uh, I'll be prepared of what task need to give from the next session. For today's session, you can just. Uh, we have six days in between now. Every day, all of you have my email ID, right? Include me into your list, including your friends, not the arbitrary one but the friends who will not re report abuse or unsubscribe otherwise you would you'll get a bad rating in mailchimp or any other software tool which you're using so today's task will be uh, take different virtual products name it anything what you want like for example take one e-commerce e oriented let's say for example uh, assume that you're working as a digital marketer for an e-commerce thing. Draft an e-mail and then shoot for um, an advertisement agency. I'm writing it down. You have to basically uh, work on behalf of a ad agency, e-commerce site. Yes, I'm writing it down. Mm. Retail brand offline, as in big bazaar and all that. Then one card boxes manufacturer. Do this. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So these are five, no? Uh, draft three emails each. So you'll basically have to draft 15 emails in total. Uh, all of you, please uh, send me all these 15 emails in this week. You can do it the way you want. Sorry, 15 din me karni hai ya pe you. But Uh, 
portray yourself as a digital marketer for this create a list of your brands including me in every list so that i get the email also and i will be able to check the task and share it and try to use different themes different composition different write ups uh, try to include as many as friends of yours and you will also get to see how many clicks that try to use various timings of sending the email so that you can also understand ki agar email subah bheja jata hai to zyada effective hai ya shaam ko bheja jata hai to zyada effective hai so you will also understand these things so all you have to do is you have to write 15 emails in total and send it across Abhinandan uh, is asking a question. For example, I am a seller of a shoe. I want to mail 1,000 people who are looking for shoe. Now, uh, how do I mail them? Abhinandan, this is what we have discussed. A, you have to have a list of those 1,000 people. To have that list, you can uh, use various channels. Then, this is the tool which you can use. You can design, and you can just. push it across right email is the way of contacting them um uh, kesh uh, i'll ask the admin to send you across i do not have the access of username and password to only training over here so i'll ask nick to send you that आपको पता चल जाएगा वंस दे ओपन दैट आई एम सॉरी आई हैवेंट वेट वंस इट इज डन यू कैन गो टू कैंपेन एंड यू कैन सी तीन सब्सक्राइबर थे तीनों ने ओपन करा एक क्लिक दिया हुआ था तो हमारे पास जो रिजल्ट आ रहा है वो 100% का आ रहा है जो लास्ट मेल भेजा था टेस्ट और क्लिक जो है वो सिर्फ मैंने करा था आउट ऑफ थ्री तो थर्टी थ्री परसेंट पीपल ने क्लिक किया था आप दोनों ने क्लिक नहीं किया तो यू गेटिंग रिजल्ट्स ओवर हियर टेस्ट जो करा था उसमें दो को भेजा गया था सिर्फ एक ने करा था सो दिस इज हाउ यू गेट टू नो दस ऑफ योर ई मेल प्लस यूल ऑल्सो इन टू योर डेवलपमेंट टेक्निकल टीम ऑफ अर वेबसाइट यूल ऑल्सो गेट टू नो आप वेब एनालिसिस आपको ये भी पता चल जाएगा कि कब कौन आया था right and have they purchased or haven't they purchased uh, if in case it's an email e-commerce site right so abhinandan aapko kaise pata chalega this has been answered uh uh shubham mukesh uh i'll ask make the admin to share the user id and password or whatever your query is we'll contact you uh abhinandan have you i'm sorry i just missed have you uh, filled the this uh, feedback and to have you ashalata have you abhinandan please do that shubham have you filled that you just fill it in between and then we can take the questions All right, uh, Sangeeta, Preeti, have you filled that? I'm sorry, some of you have written yes. I've just missed who have written. Thanks, Mukesh. Okay. Anyways, in one line, uh, you must have written in on the uh, in the feedback and have share your comments. But just in one line, how how do you like the session? And what are the changes you want in the session? the way of delivery or was it too theoretical and we need to do practical more or what is your input it was quite touching different topics today because it was the first topic and the idea was to <laughs> all right uh, i'll take a note of it
Sangeeta, uh, please fill it right now. Uh, do not wait for the session to get closed. It, it won't take much of your time. It will take hardly a minute. And drop your comments as well. All right, uh, Abhinandan, can you just uh, post the question again? If... Yeah, please do that. So, so all of you have filled filled it up the feedback and want to uh, go and end the session can leave if in case they want to be here because there are a few more questions coming can stay so it's all up to you now yeah. Yes, this is what I was saying. See, there are poss Let me again try to answer this. The possibilities of giving, getting the prospects can lie on two, three grounds. One, you try to approach someone who is selling data, but this is not the very ethical way because it they may not have subscribed you but going off the beat and somehow trying to convince them you can do that so you you can just approach them and try to read their behavioral pattern if in case they're selling data based on behavioral pattern and sharing uh, and try to fetch the data the other way of going about is you have your uh, you as a nike right i'll try to answer abhinandan first and then Yes, Ashalata, I will do that. And that is why I'm saying they will ban your account. They won't allow you to use through that IP and that. So that is not the suggested way. I'm just discussing the theoretically what can be the options. Now you will be the pressure, but I'm not recommending that. Uh, the other way of doing is use this social media marketing or other marketing online marketing channels to get people to subscribe that. Uh, in in if somebody lands up into the nike page you may prompt them to give uh, to subscribe and then you allow them to access the site further so that is the one way of doing it the other way of doing it is uh, in into the different surfing pages into the different landing pages you uh, try to put the subscribe button the third way of doing is as a Nike, you go offline and you try to approach different uh, blog writers or whoever is the is let's say there is a there is a shoe seller who is in Tilaknagar but or a Rajari Garden but it's a you know very dominant uh, shoe seller and of that market and he also has his footprint in online. Uska Facebook page we have skip me website we and all that so you can offline approach them and say Ki, why don't you put my uh, ad over there and if somebody clicks on to this will land to my landing page when there, where there is a subscribe button to to access uh, as mandatory so you somehow try to fetch on these means and then try to gain it and it's a long process it won't get in in one go but this is one one way of doing it you can also use your BTL activities koi shoe oriented or fashion oriented trade fair hai aap udhar ja ke you can have your stall aur jo bhi log aate hain unko sirf ek 
यू नो फ्री ऐप आप दे सकते हैं वेर यू कैन जस्ट रजिस्टर फ्री और हम आपको एक प्रमोशनली प्रमोशनल गिफ्ट देंगे इन टर्म्स ऑफ दैट डेल एक्सेप्ट योर टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन इन विच वन ऑफ द कंडीशन विल बी दैट देर ऑथराइजिंग यू एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग यू टू गेट दी ईमेल सो दीज आर दी मीन्स विच यू कैन यूज दैट राइट Abhinandan has asked means how will I come to know that this category want to purchase? Uh, I didn't get you. Means how will I come to know that this category want to purchase? Choose is your category, right? So you are saying that this person wants to buy this category. How will you come to know? See, there are you. You cannot ultimately. Have the answer ultimate uh, as long as you ask the person directly. But there are certain ways. Once we'll cover Facebook promotions uh, or Google, well, Abhi. Once we come cover Facebook promotion, you'll you'll learn that once you select the Facebook audience where your promotion will be displayed, there you can not only select on location basis uh, or on gender basis, you can also select on their behavior basis and their interest basis. Yes, I'm giving you the example. So what you do is, once once you're selecting those targets, you try to select the people who have the interest in shoes and fashions, uh, and then once they, uh, you know, becomes your target and clicks uh, onto the advertisement, Facebook advertisement, of which let's say the objective is uh, that you're promoting your page. so once they click on that they'll become uh, they'll come into the fan base of your facebook page and you'll you'll have the access to them that they are these are the persons who have interest in the category which i wanted them to have the interest in so this is how you get to know for example i want to provide job then i can i'm ask i'm reading abhinandan's question now for example i uh, want to provide then i can purchase you can purchase but this is the risk which it uh, which ashala that is also shared and this is against the cyber laws you cannot put a promotion on main and breach the privacy of any person on earth until unless he has said to you that you can send any promotional emails to me so as long as somebody has not committed you has accepted your terms and conditions and subscribe to you if you do that it will be a great risk because tomorrow um, whatever tool you are using uh, like for example mailchimp you are using they'll ban you to uh, they will not allow you to do that if you try to uh, you know your customer then unsubscribe or report if you did that so it's very strict Cyber law, we which we have to uh, basically take care of. <laughs> you can do it. See, you can keep on changing your email IDs. You can keep on changing your machines from which you you will be sending. But you will eventually found that it it's of no use. Uh, because as a digital marketer, I mean, then this is not the only thing you'll be managing. Uh, you have to manage everything. and at the end of the day you also have to understand that you are working for a brand even if it's your brand you are working for that brand even if it's your baby you have conceived it so at the end of the day your brand is getting a bad word so if i report an abuse to whatever new brand you have started or you are working as a digital marketer you are getting a bad word out of it so at the end of the day it will not fulfill your purpose you can just come to me through an email but if i do not want to buy your product and spread a bad word of mouth eventually you will in a longer run you will be at a great loss right so it is better to go slow organic way i mean organic way of, or ethical way of doing it uh, at a minimal risk or no risk way of doing it then to take a higher risk because it eventually don't pay you got it so 
right any uh, any other question we have four more trainings left with us i mean abhinandan ashalata sangeeta shubham any question or shall we call it off today yes abhinandan thank you no question any uh, if in case you want to leave uh, you may leave yeah good night yes i've been and then i'm waiting i'm not logging it off till the time uh, all of you pay to log in all right um uh, try to finish uh, your uh, this also uh, assignment the homework kind of thing Sangeeta, any doubt? Any question? No, they will ask you for a company. So you have to name anything. For a proprietorship companies, uh, in the initial phase, it is not required uh, a registration. So you can use that kind of loophole to do that, but they will ask you for a company name. So you have to fill it. No, there there cannot be. Uh, see, it's a promotional thing. So you have to have an organization for which uh, for which your brand is working and for which you want to promote. So on individual basis, why should, why would somebody allow you to throw one lakh messages? Otherwise, it could have been used for a wrong purpose. Yeah, na. मैं एक लाख लोगों को परेशान भी तो कर सकता हूँ ये यूज करके so, मेरे पास अथॉरिटी नहीं है ना ब्रांड होना चाहिए आई डू नॉट नो इज ए चेक इट और नॉट बट इफ इट्स अ प्राइवेट लिमिटेड फॉर्म और लिमिटेड फॉर्म देन इट इज वेरी इजी टू चेक फॉर प्रोपराइटरशिप इट बिकम्स रिलेटिवली डिफिकल्ट टू चेक सो इफ इट इज अंडर कंपनी इट वॉज नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स इट Thirteen or something like that. So if it is under that, then it is very easy to check it out. Sometimes it be, becomes difficult. I don't think so. They'll check initially. They'll allow you to do the access. And if in case uh, at the background they find it out, then they may refuse you. You don't have a firm. Uh, see a sole proprietorship firm. I'm just uh, guiding you separate. I mean, not with the subject, but uh, separately. Uh, so you can have your sole proprietorship firm so sole proprietorship firm is a firm which is no different from you so usme jo bhi tax karta wo aapke income tax ki tarah hi karta hai so you and your company are no are not two different entities so you are a single entity so yes sole proprietorship yes so so for that i can have any company uh all right uh, abhinandan there are if you want to have a company a firm there are in especially in india there are four ways of doing of of having a company a you can have a sole proprietorship what is sole proprietorship sole proprietorship is a company which is your company you are the owner uski liability assets sab kuch aapka hai aap aur aapki company are not are not two different entities you and your company means the same thing most of the shop owners jo aap dekhte hain wo zyada tar sole proprietor hote hain तो अलग से पूरी कोई कंपनी एस्टेब्लिश नहीं करते वो कल एक दुकान खोल देंगे कुछ भी एक नाम दे देंगे उसी नाम पे एक करंट अकाउंट खोल देंगे या कई बार अपने अकाउंट पे ही ट्रांजेक्ट अपने नाम पे ही सेविंग अकाउंट पे ट्रांजेक्शन करते हैं और उस नाम से काम करते हैं सो दैट इज सोल प्रोपराइटरशिप इज अनदर थिंग अनदर कंपनी जिस पार्टनरशिप लक्ष्य फॉर एग्जाम्पल टूमोरो यू एन मी डिसाइड टू डू अ कंपनी तो हमें एक अग्रीमेंट करना पड़ेगा जो गवर्नमेंट अटेस्टेड होगा बेसिकली कोर्ट से और वो एक पार्टनरशिप हो जाएगी सेम फंडामेंटल इट्स ओनली रादर देन वन पीपल देर आर मोर देन वन पीपल तो उसके लिए जो रजिस्ट्रेशन की रिक्वायरमेंट है वो सिर्फ टैक्स ओरिएंटेड है तो आपके पास सर्विस टैक्स की रजिस्ट्रेशन हो अगर आप सर्विस दे रहे हैं या आपके पास 
से वैट की रजिस्ट्रेशन हो अगर आप कोई प्रोडक्ट बेच रहे हैं लेकिन आपको अलग से जाके कंपनी कहीं भी रजिस्टर नहीं करानी होती आ, लेकिन अगर आप कंपनी एक्ट के अंदर कोई कंपनी खोलते हैं आप कभी कई बार देखेंगे कंपनी के नाम में आगे प्राइवेट लिमिटेड या लिमिटेड लिखा होता है इन दैट केस आपको कंपनी एक्ट में जाके रजिस्ट्रार ऑफ कंपनीज में आर में जाके कंपनी रजिस्टर करानी पड़ती है उससे वो एक अलग आइडेंटिटी हो जाएगी लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू आर अ डिफरेंट आइडेंटिटी आई एम अ डिफरेंट आइडेंटिटी द सेम वे दैट कंपनी बिकम्स अ डिफरेंट आइडेंटिटी सो हु एवर इज डूइंग बिजनेस विद यू कैन नॉट कैच यू यू आर ओनली अ ट्रस्टी टू हैंडल दैट कंपनी वो कंपनी के लाइबिलिटीज और एसेट के हिसाब से ही ट्रांजेक्शन होंगी सारी सो इफ लाइक मेरा अकाउंट में आप देख सकते हैं इट इज टू एंड ड्रीम सी कॉमर्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी सो आई एम डायरेक्टर ऑफ वन कंपनी and this company is a private limited company it have its own individuality but if i have a proprietorship i can just open a company jisko main baad mein register kara sakta hu service tax ya vat mein company register karane ki zarurat nahi hai i can pack with that aur ek shop wala hota hai jisme aap under shop act aap register kara lete ho aisa so you can practice it under proprietorship ek koi bhi aapke paas stamp honi chahiye uski do letter head hona chahiye that is the only requirement और जो एड्रेस आप डालोगे वो एड्रेस पे यू शुड बी ऑथराइज टू डू दी बिजनेस या तो आप रेंटेड हो या फोन हो आप कल को मेरा एड्रेस नहीं डाल सकते वो आपको प्रूफ कोई क्वेश्चन करे तो प्रूफ कर सकते हो आप इतना सब अरेंज कर लो तो होगी प्रोपराइटरशिप कंपनी गॉट इट संगीता यू गॉट इट गुड any more questions and by the way have been and this is not related to the course i'll give you my you didn't got it okay i'll explain you i have a consultation fees also <laughs> i'm just kidding i'll be happy to help you guys uh but you didn't got what did you didn't got see i tell you aap koi bhi nayi company start karte hain to aap proprietorship mein kar sakte hain no 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 i, I was just kidding it, it was i was just on a lighter note i was saying this so you can start it as a proprietorship aapko kisi kisi government ki entity pe ja ke company register nahi karani hoti aapke paas us company ka letter head hona chahiye letter head pe logo hona chahiye aur address hona chahiye aur you can start working on that you should have a proprietor ka stamp aur address ka stamp do stamp hone chahiye aapke paas and you should be authorized to do the business over here ya to wo aapki ki property ho जहाँ का आपने एड्रेस डाला है या आप रेंटेड हो और उसमें लिखा हो कि वो कमर्शियल आप यूज कर सकते हैं दैट्स इट एंड वाई आर यू शो बॉर्डर्ड आप किसी भी फ्रेंड को बोल लेना अगर कोई आपके उसमें हो आप उसका नाम यूज कर लेना इन दैट केस any more questions yeah good night sangeeta good to go chalo good night bye see you guys